great start for you guys. What does it mean to, to be able to get the two points to kick off a long road trip? Yeah, really good. It's a great way to start. Obviously, really challenging place to play. Um, really good team, skilled team. And, you know, really gritty win, I thought, for the guys. And I think good teams find a way. So it's a good way to start off the season, just finding a way. You did a lot of work out there. How do you make sure that you're ready to be sharp and, and look as good as you did tonight when you get in there? I just put in the work ahead of time and then go out there and play. You know, that's what Clarkie tells me, and uh, that's what I try to do tonight. I just want to ask you about the identity of this team. You guys win a lot of puck battles. You guys are really tougher in front of than it is. Is that just kind of the Rick Tockett effect? Coming in? Yeah, definitely. I think it's the way the you know the whole team wants to play. Uh, obviously, we have a ton of skill. You know, the, the power play is really dangerous, which helps too. Um, you know, we're definitely not a, a slouch offensively, but. Um, you know, I like the grit that the team's showing so far. I know taking seven penalties isn't the way to success, especially against this team, but what was it about the PK tonight that was so successful? We did great. You know, we just found a way, you know, tried to keep them to the outside as best we could and just take away seams. You know, that's a really skilled team, and they like to look for those seams, one-timers, that kind of thing, and thought we had some good sticks, some good blocks, and just, you know, did the right things out there. On a personal level, you know, a lot of times when you play your first uh, first game with a new team, it can you know be, be a little nerve wracking. You want to make a good first impression. How good does it feel to just put up that type of performance and, and get the win? Yeah, really, really good. Um, obviously, coming to a new team, it feels so good to contribute early and get two points and you know be be a big part of the win and uh, just kind of come together as a team early. And I think we're doing that. I think you, it was three or four times you were able to kind of anticipate that dry saddle shot from you know below is that something you guys scouted you looked at it and like you got there pretty quickly on three or four of those yeah they've been doing that for a lot of years yeah. um you know obviously it's not the only thing they do to generate yeah. offense yeah. so he can't just uh you know wait on it but um definitely something you know we learned from a little bit last game and and tried to take away and be ready for it this game yeah we had some good pushback i mean um you know, we killed a lot of penalties. We had some guys on fumes. Um, you know, we were overusing some guys because of the penalty kill. So I give a lot of credit to guys. You know, I thought Casey DeSmith was outstanding, battled his ass off. Uh, Petey was, I thought he was a terrific. He had more, he played with every, I think every person on the line. He did a great job. I mean, I, I mean, the whole team did a nice job. Um, you know, Edmonton, we knew they were going to come, and, they, you know, they were coming. Like, would they have seven or six, seven power plays? So. It's not a recipe against that team. You guys are you guys are hard on pucks the first two games of this year. You guys are winning battles in the corner, you're winning battles in front of them. Is that kind of the identity you want from this team to is to be hard on pucks and, and win those one on one battles? Yeah, I, I, like I said, I thought you know we were we we had a short bench. I thought the Oilers were coming. They were they came up with a lot of loose pucks and guys were trying. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's something that we talked about this summer um, we had to be a harder team to play against we have to come up with loose pucks we got to come up we got to hold pucks um, you know we're, we're not there yet but this is obviously a good start uh, but I thought the Oilers I mean they came up with some loose pucks themselves and you guys got on the power plays you guys got guys blocking shots and maybe you know like allies jumping in front of pucks like is that that's the buy-in I guess you, you're getting from these guys is I, I, I really I still I, I know they got two power play goals but I like our penalty kill I thought we, we, we they, they they did a great job. You know, we gave the one a freebie there, but uh, we killed that five on three. Who knows? They score there. So I think the penalty kill has been a big key for us this year. Cole was just talking about some of the non-negotiables. He thinks they've been present in these first two games. How do you feel about those? Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, game management, you know, that's something that we're, we're going to continue to build around here, uh, knowing this, you know, know what's, what the situation is. You know, I think there were some times where we had pucks and we didn't get them in deep. You got to look who's on the ice, but you know we're getting better. Um, and that's the positive. And guys are—I don't even have to make them accountable. Sometimes, even before I go uh, in there, I hear guys making themselves accountable, and that's what I like. It's not, it's not always the coach's voice; it's the player's voice. What do you think of your team's pushback after obviously the first goal, after yeah. the second period? Those, those times. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the medal you look for a team. And it's only listen. There's two games into the season. There's, you know. 81 to, or 80 to go, um, but it's nice to have a pushback. Even you know the Oilers came flying, they got that goal, the crowd's into it. To come up with those goals, the power play goal, to kind of quiet it down a bit, to get in there, get in the, the first period two to one. That really, I think, settled down some guys. Some guys were a little nervous early. I thought. With uh, Nails, he obviously got on the score sheet goal and assist. But even if you ignore the offense, it looks like through these first two games, he's been responsible managing the puck, winning battles, making stops in certain situations. What have you noticed about him sort of 
finding maybe that identity in that bottom six role? Yeah, he had a big shot block. That, uh, he had the goal to assist, but he he hit, you know he stopped that shot right in the slot. That gets through. Who knows? I really liked him tonight. Um, he's been watching video. Uh, the twins uh, watched video with him the other day. I think that really helps those type of guys. You know, um, you know. He always talks. We always talk about his hockey IQ, and I think he's chipping away at his hockey IQ. If he can really think the game the way we want him to think the game, the way he skates and the way he's you know he's a dog on the bone, right? Like he's just. You know, he, he he chases down pucks, and that's what we need. We need those kind of forechecking type of guys. How do you keep guys engaged when you have so many penalties against you? Yeah. There's a lot of guys that just aren't playing. How do you keep those guys engaged? Well, it's 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 really them. You know, uh, being alive on the bench. You know, uh, cheering the guys on. That's the best way. You know, we've all been there before. You're sitting on the bench. You can't get out there, right? You know, a lot of penalties. So some guys are in activity for five, six minutes. It's hard. But I like the fact that they were cheering guys on even just a simple you know tell a guy uh, by the way hey you have time or get in deep that gets you in the game so I give them a lot of credit it's tough man you don't you know you don't play for five six minutes you're sitting there your legs are seizing up